Welcome Aquarius, we're going to be looking at what it is that you need guidance with them at the moment using Dragon Oracle cards, Nature's Whispers and Osho Zen Tarot. Alrighty, so let's first of all get you a Dragon Oracle card. One card for Aquarius please. One card, just one. Aquarius wants heaps of cards. Just one, please. Is that one? Let me have a look. That was two. Let's get one. came out I wonder what that was there it is excellent okay silver lunar dragon okay bathes you in divine feminine light come into balance and practice peace harmony and cooperation expand your causal chakra okay so let's get this ready in the book so we can read it after what is it called? Silver Lunar Dragon. Page 90. Let's have a look. Alrighty. So, put that over there. Now, tell me more about Silver Lunar Dragon for Aquarius. That is the most beautiful card. Come into balance and practice peace, harmony, and cooperation. Expand your causal chakra. It's funny, you know, so I feel like some of you need this um, kind of like to take some time to really just be. And by that, I mean really silencing the mind here, Aquarius. One more card for Aquarius. Yeah. All over the floor today. Okay, I can't believe it's taking this long just to get the cards out. Sorry about that, Aquarius. Okay, so... Let's have a look here. Be true to your heart is the first card here. Maintain childlike spirit and assurance. Interesting mix of cards here. Be true to your heart. Show you this one. Look at this. It's very busy. There's a lot going on here. A lot. I feel like there's a need for some of you to align your chakras for a start. Um... And also to drop from your mind into your heart, most definitely, for sure. Because <laughs> it goes on the floor again. <laughs> because there's just too much going on right now. Something also needs to be looked at a little bit more closely. Okay. Um, and this could be the direction in which you're traveling. Okay. Um, in your life. It could even be an actual trip that you're taking. You may need to look at the fine, finer details of that. Okay, there's one on the floor there. Just trying to make sure I get them in order. Yeah. Okay. Okay, they're going all over. Do you see things feel like it's it's almost like there's not this proper grip on things right now. But anyway, let me pick these cards up. Okay, so be true to your heart. Mm -mm. Okay. I feel like for some of you Aquarius that there's some sort of healing that has gone on and it's opened up your heart chakra and there's potentially a connection that you would like to make, whether that's romantically or um, it could even be work-wise um, or some other area in your life, there's a connection that you would like to make. Um, but something's stopping you.
there's something stopping you. There's some sort of internal battle going on about this anyway. Whatever that is, Aquarius. I'm not saying anything else. There's this sort of closed offness, like not wanting anyone to see it. Right? Yeah. Yeah. See? There's a decision here that needs to be made, but you're trying to make it without anyone knowing. Holding back, you're holding back on something. Mm. It's kind of like wanting to move forward, but not wanting to see what is going on around you in the process of moving forward, if you like. This is a little bit cryptic, a little bit cryptic, and I feel like part of that is your energy sort of like not wanting anyone to know what's going on so this you could be moving in in um silence could be moving in silence could be a protection thing as well because of the healing um this could be healing that also needs to be done that you're trying to protect yourself protect your heart right um out of fear of it being hurt There's a sense of I I feel like I want to say not feeling heard or not being heard, but that also feels wrong at the, because I also get this silence as well. Maybe it's this internal screaming, the silent scream inside of you. But when you hold your heart in your hand, it shines, it glows. And so it's a matter of coming out of your head and into your heart in order for you to expand. There's something that needs to be put to rest so something new can um, be built. There's the sense of there's a ship there's a new beginning that you're waiting for. There's a ship you're waiting to come in. And other ships have come in, but they haven't been your ship. And so it's kind of like looking at where your ship is through the magnifying glass. And it's there. It's in the distance. It can be seen with the magnifying glass or through a telescope <laughs> or binoculars or whatever, right? And it's there. You know it's there. Even if you can't see it, you can feel it. You can feel it in your heart. But there are things that need to be sorted out first here, Aquarius, okay? Wow, yeah. Because something is... Okay, there's a couple of things here. Something is done. It's served its purpose. It's finito. Okay, but this is about change happening so that you can... Um, You can allow what it is that you want to come in. And it may feel a bit chaotic. See, this is the thing, right? The ship that you're waiting to come in, there's a fear of a storm happening and the ship getting lost in that storm and it not actually arriving. But the thing is that when you when you have had that healing, right, in your heart and you are true to your heart, that is what remains um, solid and stable. It's when you come out of your heart and into your head that things become chaotic. Okay? So, yes, maintain your childlike spirit because I think this can get a little bit overwhelming for you. So it's important to make sure that you're having fun, that you're um, letting the inner child out to play. Okay, when you're being true to your heart, make sure you're stepping into your adult self 
and allowing your inner child to take a step back and and um, because if there's fear um, or it, it feels really scary to do that that can be the inner child having to take the lead and we really want our our adult self to be taking the lead in our life it's not for the inner child to be living in a to be leading and living an adult life. Okay, we need to nurture and take care of that. But we can let our inner child out to play to remind us what that is like, to remind us to let go and be free. And that can also allow us to be true to our heart. Okay, so tell me more about maintain your childlike spirit. Okay, let's see what we got down here. Let's come up first. What have we got here? Awareness, yes, see, this is what I see. I see, okay, there's a few things here that's coming through. Part of this I see is your inner child, right? Which is what I've just talked about here. This is also the shadow self here, this, this kind of shadow. What is this saying? Is this fear of the shadow? Not understanding here, Aquarius, that your shadow self is part of you. Yes, you see, because we have integration here, right? And if you look at the yin yang symbol, and I love this because it's also in the center of this change card here, right? And so the yin-yang symbol, I always feel like, represents our light side, which is the side we are happy for everyone to see. These are our good traits, our lovely self, right? Our gifts, our talents. It's like, look at this. Look at who I am here. Look at what I have, right? Our shadow self, right, is the part that we don't want people to see. And for some of you, it may feel like your shadow self is looming over everything right now like it needs to be addressed it needs to be looked at okay you need to pay attention to it there is healing that needs to be done that you are putting in the shadow here right like this building this wall around it it's like no don't have a look at this don't have a look at this but what in turn you are doing is hiding the magic and the treasure that you truly are you're hiding the light as well as the dark Okay, so this is where it's important for you to look at these aspects of yourself that you don't want anyone to see and look at those and go, okay, this is here. This is part of me. You know, when we talk about loving ourselves fully and completely, if we're not loving those parts of us that we don't want anyone to see, if we're forever trying to push them away and hide them, then how can we say we fully love ourselves? We don't. Because there's half of us that we don't want anyone to see in it at the moment. That half of you feels like it's the majority, right? So in that regard here, I feel as though it's, um, oh gosh, sorry, my nose gets so itchy when I do these readings. I feel like um, this is very, very crucial for you to start addressing this part of yourself. Okay really bringing in all aspects of you, good and bad, and loving yourself anyway. Looking at the part of you, say, for example, if it's anger, looking at that part of you and seeing where that came from, loving that part in the sense of, because anger is just representative of another emotion, right? Could be fear, could be sadness, could be hurt, you know, and, you know, looking at that and digging deep, which takes courage, That's, that can be tough to do, but it's so worth it, it's so worth it, maybe, maybe this stemmed from when you were a child, you know, But it's time now, it's time to let that inner child out to play in the sense of, yes, having fun, but also allowing that inner child to be heard. 
Hmm. That's what I was getting before. Like there's this, there's this speaking, but there's no sound. It's silence. Maybe that's the inner child has been silenced for so long. It needs to be heard. And it's screaming. It's screaming through the shadow self. Saying, hear me please. Won't you? <clears throat> Won't you just listen? Playfulness. Having fun. Yeah, I love that. This comes up. Sometimes under the maintain your childlike spirit. This is also about transparency. Being honest with yourself, right? And not covering things up with a mask that pretending everything's okay I'm having fun I'm out here having fun what are you on about everything's fine of course I'm fine it's being honest with yourself okay not using substances to hide what it is that you don't want to address and that you don't want to look at okay I feel like this um this here will allow you to connect with people who, you know, this is this is about you filling up your cup with goodness, you know, and in turn you will attract people into your life with the same goodness in their cup. Okay, it will allow you to establish what you are happy to accept in your life and what you are not. This is something that um, is going to help you have this balance and this peace in your life, okay? Which is ultimately what you what you want, right? Yeah, this is being receptive, being receptive to open up, to expand, to expand through your entire chakra system, right? What did it say? Expand your causal chakra. Yes, your causal chakra here, right? It's like, yeah, it's, it's a new chakra system. Well, it's not new. It's just that as we are ascending, there's more chakras that are coming into play now. Okay, so then we have completion, yes. And this is this last piece of the puzzle here to be done in order for you to step forward, which is interesting. Now, Gemini had this, so if you want to look at the Gemini reading, being a near sign, go and have a look at that, especially if you have that in your chart. Especially if you have that in your chart. But I would have a look anyway because Aquarius, you and Gemini are very similar with the mind. Um, and you will probably find it is in your chart somewhere anyhow. Okay, so we have Assurance as the last card here. Yeah, see I feel like this is about you melting the ice and, and not um, freezing people out or freezing yourself out. Okay, um, this is definitely some sort of internal battle going on for you here. Um, and just melting, maybe melting the, the oh, how would I put that? Melting away the things that um, you have felt you have had to um, put around you, maybe walls, um, to protect yourself. Um, because the other thing I want to say about this is you need to get out into nature. To, that will help heal you as well. Okay, especially outdoors. That's really going to help you go for walks in, in the, you know, in nature, at the beach, wherever you can. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Okay, so what have we got here? These first two cards that have jumped up here. Yeah, look at this. This is gorgeous. There is this new vision here. This There's this opportunity, Aquarius, for you to stretch out of the norm, to really rise up, okay, from the depths of your sorrow that no longer need to hold you down. Okay, this is about you creating a whole new vision for yourself, okay? Receiving the guidance, allowing the guidance to come in, right? Using the silver lunar dragon, whether you believe in that or not, these are here, these messages are here to help you to expand. This is why they're coming up. 
right? When you are guided to readings, it is because there is something there for you. Even if it is just one thing, there is something there for you. You don't get guided to these things by accident. Okay. But there is a breakthrough. There is a breakthrough because this is what I was saying before when I was talking about melting away the, you know, the walls. This is what I was saying. Exactly this card. This is the card I was saying. This is the ice that needs to be melted away. Okay. To allow this breakthrough through to happen. And this could be happening for you now. You know, for some of you, this could be happening for you now, right? So, yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. I love this. Allow these emotions to come up because you have been, you have been, um, I feel like, I want to say, stabbed in the heart, man, in a massive way, like really, really hurt. And I get that. I get that, Aquarius, because I get hurt like that too, right? Not everyone hurts the same. But I understand that when there's that hurt, it's like a driving pain in your heart. It's like you can feel the, the icicle going through it, right? And it hurts bad. Yeah. So this is what this healing has been done or needs to be done. Okay. So the last two cards we have here. Oh, wow. Look at this intense, intense abundance, abundance, intensity. Look at this flying towards this abundance here, right? Because the thing is that once this mounts and you break through that ice here, Aquarius, man, this new vision is going to take form in so many ways, okay? And you are going to race towards this abundance. And it's kind of like that thing of like being set free and going, whew, right to the place that you have dreamed of that you thought potentially was impossible to get to it is right there for you and then you'll be chilling on your magic carpet floating through the air with everything you've dreamed of thinking wow if only i had known if only i had known i would have done this sooner but all in divine timing all in divine timing, right? Okay, so let's have a little look-see at this lo silver lunar dragon here. Okay. <sighs> Bathes you in divine feminine light. Come into balance and practice peace, harmony, and cooperation. Expand your causal chakra about this silver lunar dragon. The moon is a portal through which divine feminine light pours onto the earth. Okay, I this is yeah, I can feel this is making me emotional. I love the moon. Anyway, okay. It bathes the planet and more specifically connects to our causal chakra and helps to activate it. Recently, seventh dimensional silver lunar dragons have been able to access this portal and stream into our dimension particularly when the moon is full and we just had that blue moon right so that's pretty cool anyway they carry divine feminine light in their energy fields and their mission is to touch us with it to prepare for the golden future yeah which is this right awesome Anyway, for 10,000 years, we have been influenced by the masculine. However, in the new golden age, the feminine qualities of peace, harmony, equality, cooperation, love, unity and wisdom must harmonize with the masculine. So, silver lunar dragons are very dynamic now because they are actively bringing about the balance of yin yang energy of on the planet as these shimmering dragons touch our causal chakra and enable it to expand unicorns oh, sorry unicorns are able to use the illuminated chakra as a portal to enter earth and assist our ascension 
In this way, the Silver Lunar Dragons serve us, and we serve the planet. Guidance of this card. Choosing this card suggests that you call on the Silver Lunar Dragons to bathe you in their energy and that you practice peace, harmony, equality, cooperation, love, unity and wisdom in your daily life. A lunar dragon will be close by, helping and supporting you. As you are bringing yourself into balance, you are doing your part to bring the planet into equilibrium. Visualise your causal chakra as your own personal moon. The silver lunar dragons will touch and expand it until the frequency is high enough to allow, uh, sorry, to allow pure white unicorns to step through it. Very cool. Okay, I am going to leave that with you Aquarius. That was pretty cool. Anyway, take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.